go. Previously on Valois Vineyards, a new intern gets hired at the vineyard. Thank you, sir. Henry III argues with Henry of Navarre over leadership of the vineyard. At a dinner party, Henry III eats a poisoned grape. First, a quick word from our sponsors. Have you ever found yourself in the same situation as your favorite character, Henry III? Have you ever found yourself fallen over, unable to help yourself get up? Well, worry no longer with Life Alert. With one easy button press, you can get help right away. Worry no longer about being home alone with Life Alert. Call the number on the screen today. Everyone, Henry of Navarre <coughs> is our only hope. He, he must succeed me as <coughs> head of the vineyard business. <coughs> as the new head of the vineyard, I have so many new responsibilities. Whatever shall I do? So, Henry, I want you to show the new kid Louis the ropes. Teach him, teach him the importance of uh, great diversity for vineyards. Most certainly will. The use of all kinds of grapes is very important for the sustainability of any vineyard. Just don't let them turn into the fruit that we're trying to plant here. What do you mean by that? Haven't you seen him hanging around that older guy? The way they talk? The way they hold hands? The way he's been calling himself Big L? He does seem to like Charlie quite a bit. I think it's time you sit up for yourself. Can you drop it? All I want is to be with you. I don't care how long my mother runs the vineyard. Look, as long as she has power over you, you know she won't allow her love. She hasn't complained yet. I doubt she ever will. So what, you're just gonna wait for her to kick me out? I'm not going back to the life of a congressman. Sigh. What do you suggest we do then? Look, you have so much opportunity for advancement. You can kick her out. How would I even do that? We make it look like someone else did it. What about the rival winery down the street? We make it look like she got kicked out by them. We take, I mean you take, control of your share, then you give me the ability to advise you. You're so smart. I'm so lucky to have you. Alright, let's take her over to the other vineyard. You had a leg over at the head. Not my legs, you idiot. But, but she's a girl! Ew! Grow up. Now we got rid of her. It's time to legitimize your claim. How, how are we gonna do that? We can force some documents. Who, who, who in their right mind would do that for for someone so powerful as me? I got a guy. Where is he? He said he'd be here. So, need some documents. Better be good. Can't be any mistakes. Consider it done.
Hey, what are you doing here? Nothing. Nothing at all. Can I see that? Uh, no, no. Hey, you, you, you can't. Let me see it. Let me see it. Signed, Henry Navarro. Is this a forgery? Are you forging documents? No, no. What was this? Okay, look. There's something much more sinister happening here. Go on. Your grapes are being tampered with. Who? It's just as the forger said. He's here. Oh, get down! Oh, no, please! I'm innocent! I'm innocent! Oh, God, no! Oh, no! <laughs> get it out of here. Look, I've talked to everyone I know. White wine is just out. Nobody likes it. But. I came all the way from the Bourbon Brewery not to listen to these mindless, petty arguments. I know it's traditionally been just red grapes that we've grown here. But for the sake of all of us, we need to expand. We need to grow red and white grapes at the same time to stop the conflict between the two separate growers. Look, all I know is I wouldn't be caught dead drinking white wine. I'm gonna have to agree with Big L here. There's simply no good reason to add white wine to the catalog. There's more than enough red wine to go around. Personally, I've enjoyed white wine all my life, and I feel like new ventures into white wine can be very productive. I'm not only concerned about our profits, I'm concerned about the conflict within our vineyard. I feel like the red and white winers would get very angry if we didn't merge. Red wine is the only way to go. White wine is just as good, you know. Quiet. I've already made my decision. Starting tomorrow, we'll be including white grapes in our hall. But, but? No buts. I expect to see all of you tomorrow to prepare for the expansion. I bet he came here just to say that. He's always been a white wine kind of guy. Meeting adjourned. I can see all of you tomorrow. Marie Antoinette, I am honored to have someone of, of such beauty and royalty in my presence. I am so glad that you've taken audience with me today. If only because my clerks give into the demands of the beggars too easily. I understand you have some reservations about buying a grape, made grown for another woman, but uh, you see, this woman never owned, technically owned the grape, and you know, what better a recipient than someone of your vessel of beauty and grape? Don't mention that whore to Barry again. Now get out of my sight before I have your head clean from your shoulders. Pastor Rohan, I have another letter for Letter from the lady of the house, Mary Jeanette. Oh, how wonderful. Yes, this letter proves she loves me. Wonder oh my god. Oh, I want to meet her, but how can I do so? Actually, I'll ever meet you at the gardens at midnight tonight. That's where she meets all our lovers, after all. Oh, splendid. But should I bring her something? Like a necklace perhaps? Actually, uh, I heard about this grape. The most wonderful grape ever grown. You could get that for her. That would be great. That's perfect. I'll give you the money to buy it. Thank you so much. I'll be her lover in no time. The fool. Now I can buy the grape using his money and sell it to my contacts to escape safely. Now just to find I can't believe this. Married. The workers think I'm in love with the priest Rohan. That's what I've heard. I heard that you met him in the gardens at midnight. I'd like to hear the truth about this. Oh dear, you wouldn't think I'd cheat on you, would you? It was a lie fabricated by his men. Well, I'm sure it won't be as bad as you think it is. I don't know, I feel like this won't end well for any of us. As many of you all know, I'm pretty old. I'm pretty sick too. I can't, I can't lead this company for any longer. So, time's finally come for me to appoint my successor. In, in trying to choose one, I found that I like you guys too much. All of you. I couldn't pick a favorite. So I'm going to let you guys pick, your, pick the successor to me, yourselves. Who shall take my place? It's obviously me. I'm the eldest and most qualified to rule. Do not make me laugh. All you ever do is listen to Charles. 
it is clear that I'm the only one qualified to take over the leadership of the vineyard. Guys, there's no way we can decide this by talking. We have to settle this the old fashioned way. With our swords. <laughs> It. Being the rebel that I am, it seems I brought a gun to a sword fight. Sayonara.